Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flicks, Picks, and the Net Picks. And I am your humble host, No718. And, 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 and let's get it. Because Birds of Prey trailer just dropped. I'm excited to see it. I see so far, like, the likes of John Campion doesn't like it. I don't think I've seen anything that suggested much more than what I saw with that. That about in terms of first impressions being out there, at least that came through mm-hmm. my feed since I actually looked online. Um, but I didn't really see too much. I don't remember seeing anything, any headline saying it was amazing, but we're going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. From what I understood, it seemed like it was a Harley Quinn trailer, but we'll see. I'm not surprised. That's how the posters look, but I just want to see a good movie first. We'll get into all the specifics later. You already know how we nitpick it apart, but let's get it. You know what a harlequin is? A harlequin's role is to serve. It's nothing without a master. No one gives two shits who we are beyond that. The Joker and I broke up. I wanted a fresh start. But it turns out I wasn't the only dame in Gotham looking for emancipation. Spectacular news! Miss Queen, she brought me. Okay. Who are you guys? This my baby, Rosie. You You need me. Call a woman a chick. I'll accept broad lady woman, but on occasion, bitch. Bitch? What are you talking about? that for me, will you? I like it. I don't know. I like it. I like the trailer. I'm not losing my head over it. It does look like Harley, Harley Quinn featuring the rest, <laughs> but I like it. I didn't get enough of Black Mask, but, um, I don't know. E- Ewan McGregor is a good actor, so I-, I really don't. I really expect him to bring it. It's just that since he's supposed to be a flamboyantly gay gentleman, I wonder if he can, I guess, like really make that cat, that type of character, carry off well, but also at the same time be menace, just as menacing as eccentric and over the top. And if he can actually pull that and achieve that, I think that we'll be in a good space of possibly a very obviously a very different direction of where the character came off from but it can still kind of be within it will still kind of be framed within the same type of character it would make sense towards the film it's just that we're trying trying to express this eccentricity to make it unique make it if we could make it come off as flamboyantly gay, but somehow still bring a medicine and dark undertone towards it, you could probably create a character that will actually set itself apart from the rest of the other villains. And I think that's something that you're going to want to be able to do when you bring it to the screen, as opposed to what we see on the page and in cartoons, because it has to be believable especially within the, di- the, the framework of the film that is set. And if you look at the, how the film is shot how these characters look it might actually fit in this harley quinn 
God's world, but I still want to see something that suggests that he, he could only have been from God form. I mean, with all the other stuff that you're, you're trying to do that, to be different with the character, I want to feel like this guy could take you through the underbelly of God form where we see all these type of eccentric characters that when we actually see him wear the mask, and hopefully he actually does don the mask, the infamous black mask, that it will still make sense. So that's what I'm looking forward to, but let me know what you guys think about it or below. But before we even get out of it, you know what we're going to do. We're going to have to check it one more time. So let's cue this bad boy up. And go. You know what the way it starts is. off, it reminds me, it, it seems like they're trying to push it. Like the Joker trailer. Nothing without a mess. Look at the over, look at the overtones. No look at the uh, voice over how it comes in. It's just like the Joker. When it says I have a bad, uh, the thing is, is that I'm mad all the time. The Joker and I broke up. I wanted a fresh start, but it turns out I wasn't the only Damon Gotham looking for emancipation. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So they say everybody's trying to emancipate themselves, and that's how the birds come together. Miss Queen, she belongs to me. That's kind of cool. Who are you guys? Here's the deal, Queen. The mask behind them. The you black mask behind them. I like the shots and the colors. I love that. You can tell that's from um uh, the guys that did um uh, John Wick. Yeah, they shot all of it. You can kind of see these are all the action sequences. I like the trailer, and I like that little mallet. Are they, um, let me guess. They got all their weapons in the hollow. This looks cool. It looks cool. I like it. I like the trailer. I disagree. It looks like a dope trailer. It looked like they're trying to make it come off very artsy. And in terms of how it was shot and the colors and stuff like that, it does look like that. They're actually kind of selling the visuals more than anything. Um, I'm just hoping that there's actually a story, a well-written story behind all of it. The uh, undertones of emancipation, women and all of that, they actually can be something very relevant to be explored right there within the framework of Harley Quinn. Especially to this day and age, whether you agree or disagree, this might be a very interesting way to kind of play with the narrative. But I would, depending on how you do it, I would walk eggshells around. I wouldn't want to make it be like an I'm every woman moment and everything. But all of these girls are ladies, so you're going to expect a fair amount of it. But I wouldn't be so much on the nose. But it's called the emancipation of Harley Quinn and all of them being emancipated. Hopefully, it's not this whole emancipation of masculinity and all this extra nonsense and rhetoric that seems to be like a word salad of bullshit. You know what I mean? Just to sound flying and what you need because that's what's going on in the times. No. We can actually utilize this emancipation from several different things. It doesn't have to be each one emancipating themselves from a man, per se. I mean, if it could be from any kind of relationship, if it's a girl-on-girl -girl relationship, if one of them are going to play like a homosexual female, that'd be an interesting thing to show so it's not so on the nose with the times. It will just be a woman emancipating herself from any type of constriction in her personal life. You know, it doesn't have to be women emancipating themselves from men. It'll be these women emancipating themselves from whatever thing that is shackling and holding themselves down. Harley from jo uh, Joker. Um, I don't know the little girl Cassandra can from, I don't know, whoever was her caretakers that made her live on the streets and run into these people because it looked like she was a runaway. Um, 
Montoya, uh, Detective Montoya, she's emancipating herself from a job in a crooked, maybe a crooked Gotham. Maybe, maybe that's where Gotham is or whatever's going on with not trying to climb the ranks within um, the PD or or emancipating herself from not like, like, like whatever is handcuffing her f from being able to do her job um, successfully in a crime ridden city such as um, Gotham. Um, every, like, 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 I don't know, um, Huntress emancipating herself from, I don't know, I don't really know her story in the comics. I never really read too much about Huntress, but, you know, the same thing with, um, Black Canary emancipating herself from, I don't know, she's supposed to be like in a band and things like that. Maybe she was trying to climb up in, in, in the music industry and there was a lot of things that was holding her back. A lot of things that was com keeping her boxed in boxing and her creativity or what have you and she's the master of painting herself from from that and all these girls are going through all these type of struggles and if you could create a scenario that can make all of them happen to run into each other and their worlds collide and it spirals out into getting caught up into something that had nothing to do with them but everything to do with them because it brought them together almost as if that it was meant to be that these the, these ladies were supposed to um, find each other at this point in their life. And they end up taking on the black mask. And maybe this is going to be the thing that actually makes him become the genesis that makes him become the black mask. Which would be interesting. You know, I mean, there's a lot you could really work with to make this an interesting film. In terms of um, what we're seeing so far, again, I just love the shots. Uh, some of the fight choreography and the scenes that they're showing, you could clearly tell that they got a lot of assistance from the John Wick um, directors. And I think that's going to help out because it looked like it's going in sync with the color palettes, especially for guys that are very visual, especially with the colors and stuff. They're working with the color palettes that was... Um, almost like a hand-me-down from um the original suicide squad which is actually really good because it makes it fall like we're in the same type of world and i still believe that this is the same world so let's just see what they're doing see where we're gonna go with this um has it raised my level of excitement for this film i will say yes a little bit not significantly because I don't really see m much of a story, but I, I'm still kind of taking it in as a, I can't, no, it's a legit trailer. I just got no sense of a story. It's just all about making Harley, selling the character Harley, and she's already sold me. So other than just seeing them in motion, it's cool, but I really want to see the other characters. I want to see the birds of prey. And anyway, man, but let me know what you guys think, man. Leave it all below. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, till I have a better outro. Chill.